Yeah. Then I want to stop to speed it up. Is it getting smaller? No. Oh, okay. All right, yeah, it fits on a bunch of spots. Stakes, yeah. They're in the uh, bag over. Please, then. Or one of each. One, two, three. Any metal ring? So we'll be able to see how long it takes them to do it. You can take the poles up. Did you bring two hammers? No, I need one. All of the posts here, which are color coded. Did y'all put the string around or did they come with the string around? It came with the string around it. And those color coded poles connect to these various color coded hubs, which are already attached to the tent. husband is going ahead and assembling all the poles while my daughter stakes down all the corners. My son and I did it slightly differently, but we're going to see how they're going to do it today. Did I put the rain tarp on it or no? No. No. It's on the inside of the bag. <coughs> That's where the instructions are. And again, this is the tent here. The instructions 
are stitched right here on the inside of the bag. Well, I think mom said we're going to get the drill stakes. Oh, dad, did you see that uh, mallet I left in the office? No. Oh, there's a big, got a big mallet. What mallet? Like a hammer hammer? Like a mallet. Come on the thing? Yeah. I guess we got a sledgehammer at home. Uh, yeah, but it's still, it's still like... <laughs> that would have been overkill. It's maybe like this length. Like, two pounds. Probably, it's probably some, but it got a big old... I think it should have worked sunblock. Stand under the shade tree there. So I'm feeling that scissor. That what? That scissor. Look like a bacon. Minnie's still staking these corners. Oh my god. Oh, I'm just close up. <laughs> Definitely need to have a large campsite available to do a tent like this. We are not at a campsite. We are um, simply putting this together completely so we can get some measurements. We need some interior measurements because we want to be able to get some things to outfit the interior. And also we want to inspect it completely before we go to our big um, camping trip. We're planning a big camping trip out west and we definitely want to make sure the tent is in tip-top shape before we get all the way out there, of course. I think taking it down only took like 30 minutes. Yeah, taking it down wasn't bad at all. Minutes. Maybe 20, man. I don't know. It was, it was quick. Yeah, it wasn't bad at all. And we were kind of shooting the breeze. Like, we were just kind of taking our time with it. Uh, yeah, hey. we should have set a timer. We should have started a timer. Started video on it. Yeah, I started the video, so that'll show us how long it took for you guys right. to put it together. He's reading the instructions. My son and I really didn't bother with the instructions. We felt like they weren't really useful, but to each his own. I gotta see the picture. They don't have very much picture. That's what I thought I couldn't do it. Man. The picture. Was... Well, it, it wasn't helpful, yeah, so. But luckily with the color coding, it does make it pretty self-explanatory.
This is the back of the this is the back of the closet. There's a closet that goes there. You don't have to take that from you already did. I take every hole I saw, I put this one. Now I'm going to Yeah. Does it tell you where to start? What? Does it tell you where to start? Let's get a yeah, little closer. This, aren't we? So you can see more of what he's doing here. So, starting to connect these pieces here, according to their color, blue with blue, blue with blue, etc. There's not another blue with blue. There's a blue with white. As you see here, as he said, there's a white to blue, so you simply connect it as such. He's just going to continue to connect the poles according to their color coordination. You know, my scalp ought to be all burned up. That's the beauty of that. Was there? No, what is it? Oh. Oh, I hope you time lapse that on the on the, um, the editor. Oh, okay. Looks like they're having some difficulty. But we're not going to help. Nothing about this one needs to go I feel like we didn't have that much. We had to turn around the whole front one. Really one oh, that's there. true. Yeah. Well, oh. yeah, you figured that one out, yeah. But we also did the, the cross. Though. Right? Did we? Yeah. We went ahead and brought you in with it. Oh, that's right, yeah. Uh, Many of us bewildered. Like we didn't touch that orange, so. I don't know, bring me another green. This is where it goes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Looks like they got the hub facing upward. I don't know. The angle's wrong, though. The angle's, no, that's not right. No way. Got it. 
Phone a friend for like 10 bucks. <laughs> Say phone a friend. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, so far. So, are you just doing hot dogs or are you doing burgers? Uh. Just hot dogs? Alright, I mean, I guess we could do burgers. I don't, do no, I, don't, I don't need to do burgers. Oh. I think I'm good with this hot dog. Yeah, I'm cool with hot dogs. We got cheese. <laughs> Shredded cheese. You put cheese in your hot dog? There's a hole in my pants, man. Oh, man. No, it's just my pocket, but it looks ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> Take a full express. Is it seriously? Oh, man. <laughs> you like that, that guy, the, 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 the bum? <laughs> I meant more the kid. Oh. He lost the ticket. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> or he lost the bell. I thought that the bum had some holes in his clothes. Yeah, he had a bunch of holes. Let's do all the corners first, and then. I think this piece is going to be even taller. I haven't seen a picture of it though, but... Okay, so far I think... I think we... <sighs> They're definitely struggling a bit more than we did. Maybe it's because they tried to assemble a like closet it's first. Like, yeah. That's like the last... Yeah. Like we did the main body of the ridge first. I remember Unless taking them out. It felt mm -hmm. kind of weird. Like the orientation of the, the cube. Like, Make it go Yeah. Like this. Yeah, and then I'll fall. Yeah, I think that's why they're making the mistake though. Is, is starting with the closet area and the bathroom area. Saying maybe this green comes up from higher. Like maybe that's the peak of the tent. I wonder what makes it because I wouldn't have started there. Maybe smaller. Hmm. Yeah, because the, the black green first. Hmm. Going bigger. Yeah, yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but it's interesting to see uh, where they chose to start this process. Who read that? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Is this is this pink? Is there a pink color? Or is it There's a pink, yes. I think the only thing I wish, um, like I said before, I wish the main body of the tent was all that brown color or a darker color. Mm. So I feel like at night when we have the lights in there, I feel like it'll be quite translucent. Oh, I mean, that's cool. Not that it matters, but. Y'all notice some of these don't lock all the way in? Uh, yeah, we did have a few like that, didn't we? That didn't lock all the way in, yeah. Uh, I feel like maybe they made it look so they could make it look bigger. Maybe. You know, like black walls kind of make things look small. Maybe, yeah. Mm -hmm. Definitely want some cheese on the hot dogs. How do you know you put cheese in your hot dogs? Mm -hmm. I can do cheese only if there's chili as well. It has to be chili and cheese. Yeah, this it's too messy at that point. For me, it's like. 
pushing it. You just can't overdo it with the chili. I'm just saying, like in general, it's mm. like now it's like it's kind of like a sloppy Joe situation. Where you oh, just kinda, like, eat it with a fork. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't like the sloppy Joe. Hey guys, make sure you hook the um, where the hooks are. Make sure you hook them into the, uh, in the middle. Yeah, you see it? Yeah. Because once it gets tall, it's gonna be hard to do. We're gonna get the ones that stay hooked, right? You know that tree is probably at least a hundred years old. Isn't old. that cool? Just to think about something that's been here for so long, that longer than we've been alive, and the things that trees could talk, what it could tell us, of all the things it's seen. It's pretty cool. It's all right. Yeah. I even need both of them. Again, as you can see, he's just continuing to connect the colors. Gray to gray. Yellow to yellow, and so forth. Yeah, so even though it's not an instant tent, I mean, it's, it's fairly straightforward. It doesn't take too long to put together. So can you imagine having to set something like this up in Death Valley, California? <laughs> no, no. No. Is it 130? Yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah. Well, last night it was 104, 103 or something stupid. Oh, the peaks on the other side. Never mind. God, can you imagine at nighttime you still that hot? I'm good. Yeah. I'm good. <laughs> We gotta go in the winter time though. Yeah. In the winter we'll go. 104. Yeah. <laughs> I think maybe there's a breeze. You think there's a breeze coming in maybe? Ooh, a what hot breeze. Do you think breeze. it's just like, a hot breeze? Yeah, no, I know. Cause oh, I remember, yeah. yeah. We haven't done uh, Death Valley, but we've done various parts of the Mojave. And yeah, the breeze is like someone opening an oven and just whew, hot awful. air, yeah. coming together. It's looking like a house. <laughs> I said you just leave it like that. And, just... and crawl in there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh, it'd be cozy, you know. Uh, Maybe. Yeah, I set it down. I, it goes somewhere. I don't know where it goes. It's on the other side over there. It's closer to the truck to bring it. Okay, so the roof line is coming together here. Yeah. We're about 25 minutes in or so at this point. Over 
I'm gonna walk around it so y'all can see it. Yeah. So my husband basically just kind of reiterated what my son and I, um, what we thought earlier is that we definitely want to figure out a way to permanently mark the poles with the coordinating color or a num numerical system or something. Because if these little tapes, and that's all this is, is tape. If this tape ever fades or comes off, we'd be up a creek without a paddle because it'd be very difficult to try to assemble all of this. Okay, something you guys might want to consider is before it gets too tall, is putting the roof on now. What roof? The roof material. No, you can put it on after it's done. This, this rain fly. Okay. It goes off and comes on. Okay. Y'all didn't put it on at all, so we weren't going to put it on. No, I want to see it. Okay, we'll put it on after. I want to see it without the roof. Okay. My husband wants to try it without the, putting the roof on right now. We're going to see how that goes. That should be that should be interesting. I want to see the stars. Um, I got two. Huh? I buy this boy some new pants here. He's got I'll holes in his pants. <laughs> mine too. <laughs> Oh, oh wow, fall. he's got holes in his pants too. What the? All my money fell. Uh, I think the washing okay. machine is breaking. <laughs> I want to use my back pockets. <laughs> That's really funny. Must mean y'all sit down too much. I guess. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> uh, yeah, First sit down too much. <laughs> Wearing holes in your pockets. Don't, pull, don't put no money back there. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now they're putting in the all black poles, which are the legs, the main legs. You ready to stand them up? And uh, of course they just connect to the section where it's just, just black. Oh wow, it's uh, actually pretty heavy. Yeah. It's coming together. Side too. I guess that one didn't lock together. I think we did the stakes the wrong way. Oh, I didn't know. It's warm out here today. So 
also, of course, they're still working on it. It's just about there, but you can see the complete view here. It's pretty large. It's got that main entry area. Lots of big windows. Coming around this side. Same thing, lots of big windows. Only thing that's not done yet is the closets. So what I'll do is I guess I'll just run this video a little longer so you can see in real time them putting the closets together. It's FCS. Okay. Yeah. It's our box. Yeah. It's their box. I'm saying look familiar. Right? Just staking this down. Y'all didn't do this part, did you? Hammering and stakes is uh, uh, can be quite tricky, as you can see. I see. <laughs> little curved piece there. This is the only section where you do have to thread a pole through the material. As you can see here. Does it not come with strings? Is that what's in the bag? Everywhere else That's except the for the closets, um, all the material is already threaded through. Why did we bring water? Mm -hmm. Is the closet out enough to get to stick it out here? Mm -hmm. So where we intend to do our camping with this thing um, is out west where the ground might be kind of rocky. So we're definitely going to be using different stakes. We're going to purchase stakes that can be um, drilled into the ground rather than the stakes that it comes with. Which, which can you show me the stakes I want to show? No, actually, there's more stakes. There's like 10 more stakes and there's rope. Oh, sorry. Oh, it's okay. But these are the stakes that it comes with, just the basic stakes. We're going to get different stakes. So here we have one closet already staked out and ready to go. They're working on the other closet right now. But again, even from here, you can see just how massive this tent really is. It's 21 feet by 17 feet. Definitely a large tent. So again, before you buy this tent, make sure you have a campsite that is wide enough and big enough to accommodate such a large tent. It really is like a little cottage. I think it's massive. It's got two closets on either end and that middle section there is uh, a shower room or bathroom area. Now that they've pretty much got this thing assembled, I'm going to cut this video here. Just wanted to show you guys in real time 
what it's like to set up this tent, this Ozark Trail 12 person Flat Creek tent. Um, once everything is finished up here, I'll get a separate video. So the videos aren't too, too long. I'll get a separate video showing some of the features and um, just showing the interior really well as well. But yeah, this is the setup. And as you can see, it took my husband and my daughter right at about 35 minutes to set the whole thing up. And this is for them seeing it for the very first time and having never put up a tent. So even though it's a massive tent, I don't think that's bad at all. <laughs> 